I feel like this kid got swept up in something, did some really stupid things, and is going to be spending probably the best years of his life in a federal prison. And I got to imagine that it's going to leave more than an indelible mark on him. Having experienced now everything, and people have said to me, 14 years, you know, you must feel upset by that. You be the judge for yourself. But for me, if you want my opinion, it brings me to a worse place to think and act in that way. So the better thing for me to do is to allow the wound to be cauterized in that moment. The scars that it leaves behind and the, the searing pain at the moment will live with me forever, but I had to let the bleeding stop and find a way to kind of move on. And I think that's where I'm at. I think I'm about as at peace as I can possibly be for the moment, at least with this particular individual. There are others that are responsible and part of this. Maybe they too will seek justice one day. And if I get to my grave and find out that they did not find justice, I'm okay and at peace with that as well. I can't let it consume me. The best that I can do is to take this experience, share it with the world and make the world a better and stronger place. I guess what I would tell myself is that all is not lost with the determination and your, your vast number of years of experience, both in life and in business, there is no challenge great enough that can keep you down. If you keep your head down and you keep fighting hard, you will make it through this. I think it would have been really important for me to hear myself say those words at that moment because I can tell you that that afternoon of July 2nd and even that weekend, I had a tremendous amount of self-doubt and I had a lot of worry and concern about what the future might hold. It's, it's just inescapable. As much as you're assured from everybody, no, Robert, it was not your fault. I mean, I heard Kyle said it, I heard Andrew say it, I heard customers say it, I heard friends say it in the industry. I, I just still felt guilty that I somehow did something wrong. There were a lot of people who were just willing to come in and help in any kind of way. And in here and in here, it really warmed my heart to be surrounded with by so many people who cared enough to help and ask, you know, what do I do? What can I do? How do I help? Or just to do things even on their own accord. I might not have always showed it, but it certainly didn't mean I didn't feel it. If in the end you have a million people watch all these videos and one person says, damn it, I'm getting off my ass and I'm going to do something different and is better for it, then it was worth every emotional reliving that I had to go through. If I could just move one person better in the right direction, then check.